fall, y'all, which means it's time to button up our overcoats. So what five basics for outerwear should every closet have? Well, stay tuned because I'm gonna share what's on my list. Hey gang, and welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy that you're here. If this is your first time visiting, hit that subscription button down below so you won't miss any of the action uh, over here. But today, it's all about the basics, and I have a series that kind of leads you through well, one step is a closet cleanse, then it's back to basics, tops, then it's back to basics, bottoms, but you may be even wondering what basics are. Well, those are the essential items that every closet needs so that you can walk out the door feeling confident every single day. Because you may have a very challenging bold print pant or a very interesting color uh, as far as a blazer. But if you have the basics on hand, and those are the items that basically think of it as they connect one item in your closet to another. If you have them on hand, you'll always be able to throw together an outfit. Basics come in neutrals, so that's navy, that's black, that's olive, that's cream, gray. Um, those are, are pretty much, you know, touch all of the colors as far as uh, neutrals. And as I said, the, it's the, if you have the right top, a basic top, you can wear it with the jazzy pants and vice versa. So basics also include outerwear, and that's what we're going to go over today. Because there are five uh, coats, really that if you have them on hand, you can walk out the door every day feeling just fine. And we're not talking winter coats, we're just talking very transitional seasonal coats. So we're gonna get into it right away. And the first one, this always makes my all-star list, and this is a, a classic denim jacket. And this happens to be in a dark rinse. It's a very, uh, very traditional. It has the, the two patch pockets, and you can see the stitching on the collar and you know, down the front. But jean jackets look great with just about everything, especially when the, the temps, temps start to be a little bit chilly. But, you know, I mean, this is a transition season, so we're not very, very cold yet. So pop it over. You can pop it over a skirt, a dress, you know, pants, jeans, anything. It just works. And it's just a really cute, great outer layer. I also have a uh, light rinse denim on hand. And this is how I like to just add a little bit of embellishment, a little bit of my personality. I love pins, and so you'll typically see a pin on my jean jacket. So this really is a must-have in everybody's closet for a basic. And the next is a blazer, because there again, since it's transitional time, a transitional season, uh, many times our mornings are very, very chilly, and maybe by the afternoon they've warmed up a little bit. So a blazer is really a very polished item to pop over any uh, item. And this is a, if you don't have any blazers in your closet, I would always start with a, again, a neutral because it's a basic, that's what we're going to talk about. So this is a black blazer. This is a brand new one this year. This is in a Ponte fabric, very clean, modern, has just a stand up collar. But notice a couple of things on it. It has really cool lining. Those are some of the details that you want to look for. There's a really, you know, cool lining. Ah, can I get the button? I can't, okay. So this has a foulard lining, and it also allows you to roll up the cuff and really just kind of expose that. So that's just something that you would really want to look at for uh, a little bit more of a higher end. Uh, and I will have everything linked down below. I still always get questions from my viewers. Where, is, where does this come from? Where does, you know, what brand is this? And I always link everything down below. Uh, but another thing you want to look for with a blazer are workable buttonholes. That is just a sign of good workmanship. So, a cool jazzy lining and then workable buttonholes. And then if you have a very structured blazer, you might want to think in, about investing in an unstructured blazer, a little bit looser fit, you know, think of it kind of like your boyfriend jeans. It's just a little bit slouchier. So, I have that right here. It doesn't have, as you can see, it's just a very plain, um, lining, it does have the workable buttons, 
but it's uh, these just look really, really cool over jeans. Just a little bit, you know, co cooler edge. As I said, unstructured and uh, you know, perfect for the weekend. So that that's two, and then three, the third basic outerwear you want to have on hand is a utility jacket. And these come in typically olive green or navy blue. You can get, this is a, actually a very lightweight one. This is more kind of like a safari jacket. So you have the patch pockets uh, on top and then you have the patch pockets on the bottom. Um, but this is really great for, again, transitional weather. It goes with, uh, again, everything because that's what a basic should do. So if there's a lighter weight. If you want to go with a little bit darker weight, this is more, more kind of like um, uh, more of an army jacket, I guess. And actually, utility jackets really hail from the from the military. So this is a, a little bit heavier weight. This is brushed cotton. It has a drawstring that you know can cinch in the waist a little bit, give give it a little bit of structure. And this is really an all-time favorite. Barber is, I think they make the, the very, very best. So this is the waxed coated utility jacket, and this will keep the rain out. The other two won't, but this really, really will. And there again, you can just see the cool embellishments with the buttons, the brass buttons, zippers, pockets, because every jacket should have a pocket, uh, because you, you have to store things in the wintertime. You may not always have your handbag with you. So then moving along, I consider this a basic. Some perhaps wouldn't, but this is a leather jacket. And this happens to be a moto jacket. And moto jacket, motorcycle jackets, really hails back to Harley Davidson's way back in the, in the 1920s. They were the first ones that, that came out with it. But they're very cool. They give a little bit of edge to an outfit. They're also very warm. Um, lots of different details that you can look, look for. The um, traditional one is a side zip. Uh, this one just happens to have a, a single zip. I used to have a side zip one, and uh, this one replaced it. But it has quilting on it, but it looks really cool with, you could just like drape it over your shoulders, even with a cocktail dress. You can put it over a pencil skirt, and then obviously jeans would be uh, a no-brainer there. So a leather jacket, leather moto jacket, for the fourth basic outerwear and last but not least, this always makes my list. And a lot of people, you know, I get this too. Oh gosh, you know, a trench coat won't look good on me. Uh, you know, my, my bust is too big or I think I'm just a little bit too large. Well, I have a solution for you because this is a really cool way to wear it. So you, you, you can just unbutton it, keep it kind of loose. And you just tie the belt in back. Ha! Huh. Did you think about that? Well, maybe you have, but uh, I wear it uh, quite a bit like that. Or another way, and um, this also looks kind of cool, you don't button it at all, so you don't really have uh, the buttons really kind of, you know, holding you in. So, and that's really how, how uh, trench coats are supposed to be worn. Again, this hails back to um, the military in, in World War I and the officers wearing it. But you just loosely fold your coat like that. Again, you don't button it. And then you just do a loose tie like that. And it's a little bit more unstructured and it doesn't, you know, it's not just pulling you in in a lot of different places. But everybody needs a raincoat. So I say always start with a trench coat because they're just very classic and uh, will last for a lifetime. They don't, they just won't go out of style. Okay? So that's my list, ladies, of five coats that you need in your closet with the Back to Basics series. So thanks so much for stopping by. I appreciate that. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Of course, I want to hear your comments down below, and the other viewers do too. And I'll see you very, very soon. Bye-bye.